No, most of the lunar missions were targeting the area around the equator. And the equator is well lighted and uh, compared to South Pole uh, regions. So, uh, South Pole regions are uh, rather frozen and uh, uh, go to very extreme temperatures. So, we think that uh, there is a lot of information that is to be gained by an in situ exploration of uh, South Pole region, especially about the upper crust and mantle. Uh, uh, because of the large number of craters that are uh, there, there are chances that uh, by exploring the lunar surface itself, we will be able to gain further information about uh, uh, the origin of uh, moon and uh, even the origin of the solar system. So that is why there is a, a totally renewed uh, interest uh, in exploring uh, near South Pole. But the South Pole conditions are uh, difficult uh, to for a, a lander to go there and do an exploration. Uh, but then that is a difficult task that uh, we have uh, taken up uh, in the Chandrayaan 2 mission as well as in the Chandrayaan 3 mission. So we are planning to land around uh, 69.3 uh, degrees uh, uh, to towards south. And uh, this area uh, we, we will be exploring for 14 days, one moon day. And we have pilots both in lander and rover to explore the, uh, the surface of the uh, moon as well as the seismicity and the ion, uh, ion, ionic, uh, ionosphere close to the surface. So with the, uh, and uh, the payloads in rover are uh, tuned for uh, 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 doing experiments uh, and uh, finding out the, uh, the chemical composition of the regolith uh, by different methods. And uh, that also will give us a lot of inputs about uh, uh, the formation of the moon and probably, as I uh, earlier indicated, formation of the solar system itself. So the scientific community is uh, greatly thrilled about the information that we will be gaining from uh, the exploration of South Pole. So the mission, uh, timing of the mission is very lengthy in Chandrayaan 3 uh, comparing to the other missions. What was the reason for that? Because uh, the Luna is, uh, is the upcoming mission of the Russia. It's taking less time than the Chandrayaan. What is mm. the so we we have a proven LBM-3 rocket. We have a proven capability that. Uh, and if you want to look at the highest mass that we can carry to the moon and do the research there, the number of payloads and the rover. And this is the only way we could have done it with our existing launcher. Any other way would have either impacted uh, the 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 mass that we could have carried or the number of payloads and the experience we could have carried or rover uh, that we could have carried uh, and uh, with the uh, with the available launcher. So this is a very uh, well thought out decision to go like this we, because it gives us the greatest opportunity with the resources that we have. And the resources we have chosen because the launcher is a very reliable launcher, LBM-3 is an extremely reliable launcher. And uh, for this mission specifically, we haven't done any change to LVM-3. So we have the full heritage of that lower and the full confidence uh, that we can get from that launch. And uh, so uh, this is the uh, right decision and the most wise decision that one can take uh, given the resources. And uh, you can see that uh, the taking a longer time does not uh, affect uh, any uh, performance. Okay, and we get more time to uh, carefully look at each step, uh, validate it, uh, carry it out, uh, then again verify that it has been achieved. So we have been moving steady uh, in each step and uh, we have made sure that each step has been carried out perfectly so far. So uh, in a whole, a direct ascent and transfer missions like Luna 25 will require a bigger log, rocket and it will give less time for uh, any uh, verification of the achieved uh, statuses and uh, then taking corrective action. 
So that's what uh, I would like to, I mean, comment on the, your question. Then the upcoming projects like Adhya and the Gaganyam, what was the state of that? Yeah, uh, the upcoming projects are uh, well on course because Aditya is ready and waiting for launch in the first uh, week of September. And uh, it's also a very interesting mission. In fact, after uh, looking at Moon, we are directly going to look at uh, Sun also. And that uh, it is going to orbit an area a position called L1 where the Earth's gravity and um, uh, Sun's gravity will be equal and opposite and cancels out. Uh, this point is called L1. And uh, Aditya will be uh, having an orbit around L1 and uh, this point is around uh, 15 lakh kilometers away from uh, Earth that is uh, uh, Moon is around uh, 3.8 uh, kil lakh kilometers. So this is a 15 lakh kilometer away from Earth and uh, Aditya will be uh, taken there and Aditya will definitely will use the experience that we have gained from uh, Chandrayaan 3. And next one is the great uh, Gaganyaan mission that we are uh, been working for some time now and uh, things are getting uh, fairly ready and we are going to have the first uncrewed mission some time uh, early next year and all activities towards that are uh, steadily progressing and uh, that also will be done using the LVM3 vehicle which is modified for this purpose. And uh, the rocket also has been made uh, uh, human rated with uh, uh, certain uh, changes and a certain uh, uh, redefinition of the operating points. Uh, with this, uh, the rocket is now getting ready for uh, doing this mission. And that will be the next uh, mission for LVM3 vehicle. We also have designed a crew escape system for this mission, which will uh, take the crew away in case of a, any problem with the uh, launch vehicle. And the crew module also is, uh, first crew module for to fly in uh, Gaganyan is also getting ready. And uh, we will be surely having the first launch, first uh, Gaganyan launch. Uh, it is called as GX mission now, it will be uh, go, uh, uh, it will be carried out in the first half of the, I mean, first uh, months of the next year. And before that, we will be we will be doing uh, one test vehicle mission, which actually uh, will be looking at uh, the abort uh, performance. So we will be simulating conditions for the uh, 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 abort in the atmospheric region. And we will see how our crew vehicle is, uh, crew module is uh, taken away to a safe distance by, by the crew escape system which uh, we have planned. And in that uh, mission, we will be, with that mission, we will be able to ensure that the crew escape strategy is good and validated. And there will be few more uh, test vehicle missions in order to validate various other about conditions also.